Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. We begin with the single mothers conned by a serial cheat. He romanced ten different women, but tonight they get square. Do I look stupid to you guys? Victor Latte is a scammer, he's a love rat, and every woman in Australia needs to remember his name. You've never dated more than one woman at the one time. Is that right? Look, let me tell you something. That's a yes or no question. No. Everything he was saying to me, he was saying to other women. It's just what he does. These are the vulnerable women from the Lonely Hearts Club. And there are thousands like them around the country. Thinking that you'd found a guy who was happy to take you on with children. All too often they fall victim to smooth operators like Victor Latte. And he said to me, oh yes baby, as when my wife left me I felt the same way, I felt broken and I thought I'd never be able to trust another woman again. To Victor, or Latte as he prefers to be known, it all appears to be a game. But for these women it comes with devastating consequences. This would be very shattering for a lot of these women because the question would be, how did I get it so wrong? Broken promises. He said he was going to marry me. And hearts. I was so in love with this man. Um, <laughs> he was the love of my life. He has his charming Casanova routine down pat. He made me feel special. I'm going to start crying now. <laughs> the majority of his prey, single mothers. When I met him, I told him that when my husband left me, he hurt me. And um, it took me a long time to get over the breakup of my marriage. All of these women, Latte, are single. They're vulnerable. They've been brokenhearted before. And then you show up. Single mothers who are now banding together to warn women right around the country to stay away. What does it feel like to meet each other? <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. Um, it's good to know that there's other women that have been in the same position as me. We're better for them to raise the alarm than right in the middle of one of Latte's many dates. And that's where a current affair stepped in. So he's here now on this date. We're going to wait a couple of minutes. First move and ask him one or two questions. Um, I just, what's what's this? What's happening? I don't know. This would really like to not ask you a few questions. It's latte, isn't it? Five years after going through a divorce, Tasma Bogdanovic finally got the confidence to give online dating a go. The fact that um, he was happy to meet in a public place made me feel at ease. Latte soon smooth-talked his way into a face-to-face -face meeting. Over the next two or three weeks, we messaged every day. Um, we saw each other um, two or three times a week. He made her feel like she was the only woman in his life. You look beautiful, babe, and, um, you know, you're hot and, you know, you look sexy and I can't wait to see you tonight. The relationship appeared to be going so well, Tasma introduced him to her children and Latte became part of the family. He even told the kids... ..and said to my son, I'm going to marry your mother. And my son said, oh, I'm not wearing a suit, Mum. And he said, oh, that's all right, we can get married on the beach, you won't have to wear any shoes. And my son was like, yes. It seemed like they were right on track to spend the rest of their lives together. We talked about getting married, we talked about having another child. What Tasma didn't realise, though, was Latte was already in a long-term relationship with Melanie yeah. Irving. Yeah. Okay. How long were you together? And how long were you together? So a few months. A few months, really? A yes, few months. a few months, yeah. You're such a How long were you oh. together, Tasma? 15 months. 15 months. From February last year until Friday last week. And you and That's I was still together. And Friday last week! When, when Tasma and Latte got together, Melanie and Latte had already been in a relationship for three years. Not only that, they were engaged. These two women were then dating in parallel latte universes for a whole year. And that's not all. Melanie said she also discovered he was already married. I can't believe that he, he could do something like this to someone that he said that he loved, someone that he said he wanted to spend the rest of his life with. Like Tasma, Melanie was putting her life back together after a broken marriage. She was out dancing with her friends one night when Latte made his first move. He told me that I was the most beautiful thing he'd ever seen in his life um, and that I was the one that he'd been looking for. Looking back, though, it didn't exactly start well. You asked me to leave right now and I'll come home with you. 
and I was like, mm, well, you're with that lady, but, and he's like, oh, don't worry about her. But he managed to win Melanie over and a few months down the track, they moved in together. So this is a lease agreement um, with us living together. Um, as you can see very clearly, it's got his signature on it. We were living together, we were engaged to be married. Once again, he told Melanie's kids that he was going to marry their mum and they'd be a family. <laughs> it was just... It's just devastating for my daughter because they had such a beautiful bond together. You told Bailey, I love your mother, I told she's a lover. Bailey. So you told the children that you were going to marry their mum. I didn't, I didn't say that. Oh, I said you did last time. I didn't say that. I think you've said that a few times. I didn't times. say that. He said he wanted to marry me. This woman is too deeply traumatised by her relationship with Latte to show her face. It's a game and he plays with people's lives, their dignity, their self-worth, their trust. She too was in a long-term relationship with him at the same time as Tasma and Melanie. And we went and looked at houses together, to move in together. It wasn't just about a, a date, see you later. You were seeing her in car parks? Only car parks we see each other. And what we... <laughs> and hotels, and that's the truth. She also claims she's now in financial strife after she gave him thousands of dollars. Here he is texting her and asking her for money. You have said this over four days ago. Nothing. I do want the money. When can I get it? When Latte went home to Nigeria for a visit, he claimed he'd been robbed and sent a number of women, including Tasma, this email. I wanted some money, babe, since I got robbed. And if you can, this is where you can send it to, my love. The message I sent to was for my... Uh, my boy's mom. Okay. And um, so, you, so, yeah. My boy's mom, and who else did I send it to? Yeah, just a few people. So, had you been robbed? Yes, I, I was. Oh dear, how much money did you lose? Uh, I, you know, <laughs> this is funny. Melanie says she too gave him around five thousand dollars because he said his family back in Nigeria was sick. He had a Western Union account. Um, and sometimes we would go together to the post office and we would deposit the money. I first spoke to one of Victor Latte's love interests around eight months ago, but she was too ashamed at that stage to go public with her story. But since a recent Facebook group has been set up to warn other women, more and more victims are getting in contact every day. Now, we're aware of at least 10 women who were seeing Victor Latte around the same time as Melanie and Tasma. And we're told he has four children to four different mothers and the phone calls and emails keep on coming. So just how did he do it? He rarely uses real names, so there are no accidental slip-ups. He would call me um, my beautiful goddess, my sexy angel, my heart, my soul, my world, my queen, my wifey. That was a good one. Babe, wifey, um, my sexy hot goddess, my beautiful butterfly. This email came to us from the mother of one of his children. He always wore women's perfume. It covered his for when he would visit his girlfriends. And saying he had to work most nights was convenient. When you say you're working as a security guard at night, is that really what you're doing? I was, yes, definitely. All the time? So you're never going to another woman's house when you go what, out at what night? What woman's house? Oh, you take your pick. We now know from talking to the other women that he would leave my house at nine o'clock and he would go to their house. And then at six o'clock in the morning, he would come home and say, I've just got home and then go to someone else's house. Yep, he's a very busy boy. Victor Latte oh, still woman, strongly denies he's done anything so, wrong. Look, but well, That's this must have been no. a weak Latte never moment. Dated more than one woman. A, lot of we a lot of men actually date more than that. I've heard. So I don't do that. Oh, more than what? <laughs> more than how many? You're telling me more than. How many? More than how many, Latte? Without doubt, this man is certainly a narcissist. That means that he's entitled to everything that he thinks he wants. Psychologist Sandy Ray. Listen to your gut instincts. Are they responding appropriately to texts? Are they making themselves available? Most importantly, she says none of the women involved should blame themselves. And I really wouldn't want the women to feel that they are to blame. It takes a lot of skill and a lot of training to pick a man like this one. This is a game. Remember his face and if you've had any dealings with Victor Latte, you can send us an email.